Good morning. Welcome. I know I'm a couple minutes early, but if you're joining me, please post in the comments if you can hear me. If the audio sounds okay. I will post the playlist in the comments, I think. Maybe. I'll try. Maybe not. Okay. It won't let me. Well, okay. So um, I forgot to put this playlist on Power Life Spotify, but you can find it on mine. I'm Abby Meisner on Spotify, and my playlist is called Power Life Live Bar 57. Fabian. So if you want to find it on there, otherwise, hey, Rach, um, would you be a deer and place, post the link to my playlist? It's not in Power Life Spotify. I forgot to do that. It's in my own. And it's titled Bar 57. If you could post it in the comments, that would be wonderful. Appreciate you. Um, for those of you just hopping on, comment if you're joining just now. I'd love to know that you're here. Hi, Jenna. Oh, girl, you're both sore. It's going to be more sore after this. We're going glute heavy today, per the usual. Um, if you're just joining, you need a chair like an actual chair, we'll use both sides of the chair today, and one weight or something that will serve as your weight. So um, if you don't have an actual weight at home, you can use something else that will suffice. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I've heard all kinds of different things people are using instead of weights. If you have any wine bottles left and didn't drink them all already, you can use those. sure you guys can see everything here and then we'll get started here in a minute or two I think Rachel's trying to find the link to my playlist here to share for class today go ahead and grab a chair and something that will serve as your weight for class this morning welcome on again please comment if you're just joining in I'd love to know you're here hi Cassidy I know, you poor bar girls are just doing, don't worry, we're not doing Warrior 3 today. You'll be happy to hear that, I'm sure. So, I've been spending a lot of time doing some Warrior 3 and bar training, but I'm glad you're here. I promise this will be fun. This will feel good to do something a little bit different today. Welcome, welcome. We'll get started here in just a couple minutes. Rach, let me know if you're having issues still finding the playlist that you're looking for. I should have been more prepared with putting it. I forgot to put it in Power Lives. If we're not able to find my playlist, I can post it in the comments later. Hi, Allie. Good morning. Glad you're here. Um, and you can use whatever music you want to <laughs> within our Spotify within Power Life. I have several other playlists in there that are for bar or sculpt that would work. If you're looking in my personal Spotify, which is just Abby Meisner, it's called, there we go. Rachel shared it. Thank you. Woo. Okay. Open up the playlist and get ready to boogie here in just a minute. Welcome, welcome. Anyone that just joined, comment. I would love to know that you're here so I can give you shout outs during class or try to remember at least. Like I said, chair and something that will serve as your weight. Doesn't have to be a weight if you don't have one, just anything will work. You can fill up a water bottle and use that or whatever. Whatever works for you today, whatever you got nearby. Hi Beth, first live class, dang. That's so awesome. Glad you're here. I promise uh, it'll be fun. I do feel like the live setting, when I take the live classes at home, I work a little bit harder than when I'm watching an old one recorded back for some reason, just knowing that it's live. So I hope you feel the same way. Glad you're here. Okay, I'll wait 30 more seconds then we'll, then we'll get going. If you just jumped in, Rachel posted the playlist, or the playlist is in the comments. You can click on the link there and open it up. And then 
We will start the playlist together here in three, two, one. Hit play at the top on your playlist now. And we will start in tabletop, please. Come to all fours in tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees, find a neutral spine. And start to take some cats and cows. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat, press your back toward the ceiling. Move breath to movement at your own pace. So if you're just jumping on, I'm Abby. Welcome to bar, I'm glad you're here. We'll get you in and out in 45-ish minutes. Um, as you take your cats and cows, set an intention for this next little bit of time to practice. And maybe that's just to sweat. Maybe it's to move a little bit more mindfully. Maybe there's something you want to do this instead to distract yourself from something else. Whatever it might be, use this time for what you need it for. On your next breath in, find a neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Inhale, lift your knees. Hover table, stay and breathe. Hover your knees just a couple inches above the mat. Hug your belly button to your spine. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and find a little micro bend through your elbows. Notice right away that your core and shoulders light up. Keep your back flat though. Notice if your butt wants to creep its way up, try to be like almost in plank, but just with bent knees, right? Start to rock forward and back. Inhale forward just one inch. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock forward onto your toes. Exhale, come back onto the balls of your feet. Even more through your breath right away. I know we just started, but turn your breath on right at this moment. Maybe you even exhale out your mouth to start to build or let go of some heat even this early on. If you want to build heat, keep your lips sealed. Let your heat build that way internally. Last three, two, downward facing dog. Whew, stay and breathe. In down dog, start to find a pedal through your feet. Spread your fingers nice and wide. You can feel the stretch in through your hamstrings, your glutes, your calves. Maybe bend your knees a little bit more if you need to. Start to wake up the backs of your legs. Good, and then find stillness in down dog. Take a breath in and let it go. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, press into your shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, stay and breathe. Ground in through all four corners of your feet, engage your quads so your kneecaps lift up. Then as you stretch your arms overhead, let your shoulders melt down your back. Create the space, breath in. Exhale, lateral stretch to your right. Capture your left wrist, lean over to your right side body. Plug your shoulder blade back into its socket, but keep your legs active. Exhale here. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lateral stretch to your left. Breathe. Same thing here. Again, you can bring your gaze up and under your right shoulder. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Walk your feet in closer to lifted table for knee lifts again. Inhale down. Exhale, lift your knees up. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Just a teeny tap. You're moving up and down one inch with your knees. Keep, again, keep your back flat. Soft micro bend through your elbows. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift up. Keep your core super strong. Let your gaze stay right out in front of your fingertips at the top of your mat. Start to feel your body warm up. I know, early on, the beauty of these is everything works. I love it so much. Last four. Three, two, one, inhale, high plank, exhale, down dog. Switch between the two, alternate. Inhale to plank, exhale, down dog. As you shift forward to plank, bring your shoulders right over your hips. As you press back to down dog, use your core to send your hips high and back. Warm through your shoulders, through your belly. Keep your gaze nice and long so you have space in the back of your neck still. Good, we'll add an opposite ankle tap and down dog. So inhale, plank, exhale, cross, tap your right hand to your left ankle. Inhale, plank, exhale, cross, left hand, right ankle. Inhale, plank, exhale, cross, tap. Inhale, plank, exhale, cross, tap. Keep it up here. You can move fast or slow with these, doesn't matter. Just use control either way. If you move fast, keep a bend through your elbows and think about your abs as you move. So as you twist back, use your opposite oblique to reach 
and tap. Can you get all the way to your ankle? If it's not to your ankle, maybe it's just to your shin, and that's okay. Let your core be the driver of this work in addition to your shoulders as you move back and forth. Remind yourself to use your core to lift your hips high and back every single time you come back to down dog. Take two more to each side. Come on, you got it. I'm right here with you. Last one each side. Woo, high plank, high plank. Don't miss it. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. One more time through. Exhale, lateral stretch right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, stretch left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Bend your knees, come back to lifted table. Little hops, hop up an inch and back an inch. Up and back, up and back. This is your last little thing in lifted table. Keep your core in tight. Let your heart rate start to lift a little bit. Make it cardio, so hop up, back, up, back. It's just a couple inches in either direction. Come on, keep a bend through your knees, a bend through your elbows. Gaze nice and long at the top of your mat. Woo, everything's burning, at least for me, and I'm only doing half of it, so come on, stay in it for five. Last four, three, two, last one, high plank, jump back. Woo, exhale, down dog. Breath in, let it go. Inhale, gaze back at your feet. Exhale, walk your hands towards your feet. Forward fold with your butt to your chair. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Capture your weight. Roll up, right side body to your chair, which is serving as your bar today. Find power legs with a shoulder press. So bring your feet parallel to one another. Rise into releve. Shoulder press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower to 90. Exhale, press up. So for power legs, your feet are parallel with one another. So just turn your toes to face the same direction. It's almost like chair, right? But your heels are lifted up off the floor the whole time as you drop your tailbone low toward your heels. You're able to then use the chair for a little bit of balance. So that way you can stay lifted on the balls of your feet and light up through your inner thighs, your legs. For now, just sit low through your legs and just move your upper body. Each time you take your shoulder press, Pause at 90 degrees. Try not to come any lower than that. Then press straight up overhead. Inhale down, exhale up. You can take a peek out to the side. Check it out. Are you dropping lower than 90 degrees? Tuck your tailbone toward the floor. So think of bringing your pelvis straight toward the floor below you so you have belly to spine, a nice active core, even as you're in chair pose. Imagine drawing your heels in toward your glutes. Whew. We'll add singles in two. Last one, inhale, plie, exhale, stand tall. Inhale, plie, exhale, press. Keep your shoulder press going for now. We'll find a little combo here in a moment, but every time you sink low through your legs, drop your elbow to 90 degrees, then press right back up. Inner thighs, nice and active. So squeeze your inner thighs in and together, but also fire through the tops of your quads. That's what will start to burn as you sit back down into plie every single time. Good, good, good. Can you get any higher into releve on the balls of your feet? Draw them in and up towards your glutes. Whoo! Add a pec deck at the bottom in three, two, last one. As you hold at the bottom, take a pec deck, elbow in, then press back up, shoulder press. Inhale in, exhale, press up. Inhale in, exhale, press up. Holding power legs at the bottom, bend your knees, Make your quads work as you take your pec deck. Sit in that uncomfortable position through your quads. Again, your toes face the same direction. We're not in first position here, so maybe you need to walk your feet out just a teeny bit wider, right? We don't want a super wide power leg here, but parallel, right with the floor. Pec deck, then single, press up. Inhale, center, exhale, press up. Depending on how heavy your weight is at home, you might need to ditch it now. If you have like a six or seven or plus pound weight, might be time to be done and just move your arm without the weight. If you have a really light weight, keep moving with your rep. Keep your elbow at 90 degrees as you bring it in for your pec deck and then press straight up overhead. Stay high on the balls of your feet. Bring equal weight into your big toe mount and peaky toe mounts. Come on, come on, you got this. 
Hold at the bottom in three, two, last one, just find a little pulse, tiny pulse. Less bounce, more control. Check your elbow out again. Bring it to 90 degrees. Ditch your weight if you need to. Rather than bouncing up and down here, find a bottom and a top of your movement. One inch up, one inch down. Squeeze through your quads. Come on, make your thighs do the work. Keep a bend through your knees. So even at the bottom of your one inch lift and pulse and top, your knees are bent the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, last three. Two, one. Server pull with a glute kickback. Bend your knee to 90 degrees. Inhale, reach your way down in front of you, kick back. Exhale, squeeze in, draw your elbow in from the side. Here's what that looks like. Inhale, kick back and reach. Exhale, squeeze, draw your knees together and your elbow back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze back. So your right leg, you're still right side body to your chair. Your right leg is still in relevé. Keep your right heel lifted. As you reach for your server pull, think of using your chest and bicep to reach your way out in front of you like you're serving a tray. Then squeeze it back, draw your elbow back behind you. Make your back body do the work as you bring your elbow behind. For your glute kickback, I like flex toes here. Makes me work my glute a little bit more, or think about it at least. So flex your toes down, kick through your heel. Every time, bring your knees in, kick back. Knees in, kick back. Inhale in, exhale, squeeze back. On your standing leg, still in releve, also still have a micro bend through your knees. So your active leg is still in power legs. Your standing leg is still doing work even as you move your opposite arm and leg. Kick back, squeeze back. The beauty of servers is you get to work your arm on the front and the back side of the movement. So as you lift up, you work your chest and bicep. As you squeeze back, you work your back body. Pinch your elbows in toward your rib cage. Okay, hold your leg back. We'll do just your arm in three. Last two. Last one. Hold your leg in your kickback. Just serve it up. Just serve it up. Inhale in. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Switch that breath. That's weird. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze back. There we go. Keep your back leg active. So again, you're still right side to your chair, but just kick through your back glute. You can keep a bend through your knee as much as you need to on your back leg but make your butt work. Flex your toes, kick through your glute. Pinky toe down toward the floor. Keep a tiny micro bend through your standing leg. So it's still working even though we're just holding. Woo, mama, come on, come on. We'll hold your arm and do just your leg in three, two. Hold your arm out in front, inhale, knees in. Exhale, kick back. Glute kick back, inhale, knees in. Exhale, kick back, tap. Kick back, tap, kick back, in, press, in, press. Keep activity through your weight hand on your left side. So even as you press out, squeeze your chest and bicep. Focus on your glutes as you kick your leg back behind you. Come on, come on. Sink a little bit leap deeper through your right leg. Keep a little bend. Woo! All right. Switch into fourth position in three. Come on, stay in it. Last two, last one. Fourth position, turn your left toes out in front of you. Keep your right foot back. Now turn your toes out to 45 degree angle. First, or fourth position plie, excuse me, with a bicep curl. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale down, exhale up. Plie as you lower, squeeze back up to the top. In fourth position, your feet are on opposite train tracks just slightly. So turn your toes out in either direction to 45 degrees. And then align your left heel with the arch of your right foot and plie. When you plie, you only come halfway down. So keep your quads active as you bend your knees and sink halfway down. Control your bicep curl. You just worked your biceps on the server, now you work it again with the curl. So slow it down. And think about your muscle doing the work. If you squeeze your bicep to lift the weight rather than swinging up and down, 10 times more effective. I know, it's amazing, right? Hold your legs. We'll just bicep curl it out in two. One, hold your fourth position. Just curl, burn it out through your left arm. Inhale down, exhale up. 
Woo. Maybe move at a little bit quicker pace with your curl. Sit up nice and tall through the crown of your head, reach through your spine. Alternate from fourth position to first position after we pulse here in two. One, just pulse first, pulse. Pulse, squeeze in through your inner thighs, pulse your arm and your leg. Woo, you wanna test your balance, bring your hand off your chair just for a moment, bring it to your hip. Ground in through both feet, fire through your thighs for three. Two, one, first position to fourth position. Bring your weight to heart center for now. Inhale, fourth. Exhale, first. Inhale, fourth position. Exhale, first. Step your heels together. Take it slow. You're on the balls of your feet, so there's a lot of calf work and balancing work happening through your lower half. Inhale, fourth. Exhale, first. Should start to feel a pretty good burn through your right quad if you haven't already. As you step forward, shift your weight a little bit more into your left foot. Then as you bring your heels together, equal weight through both feet. Left foot, both feet. Left foot, both feet. Add an upright row. Inhale down and forth. Exhale first, bring your weight up to your shoulder. Inhale forth. Exhale first. Inhale down, exhale upright row. Okay, my right quad's burning and I'm not even doing this. So, hope your legs are on fire as well. In your upright row, just bring your weight right up to shoulder height. Draw your elbow straight up beside you and pinch your shoulder blades together on the back side. Come on, come on, stay in this. Keep a bend through both knees. I want plie in both fourth and first. Hold first position in three, two, Hold your first position, down low, keep your upright row going. Inhale down, exhale upright row. Inhale lower, exhale lift. For now, no movement through your legs. Just sit low in first position. And when we say low in first, we only mean about halfway down. A demi plie through your legs. We don't need a grand plie where you're sitting at low here. That's just hell on your knees. Halfway down. Squeeze your heels in toward one another. Pinch them in as you flare your toes out wide and press in through the balls of both feet. Think about your back muscles just as much as your shoulder here. You work your delt to lift the weight up, secondary, but at the top, pinch your shoulder blades together. First position, singles in two. One, inhale down, exhale, squeeze up. Move right with your upright row. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Come on, we're almost done with this little set here, then you get to shake it out. You get to freaking shake it out. We got one last little thing with your right side body to the bar, then we're, then we're taking up space and shaking out your muscles. Last three, two, one. Launch up to half moon, turn your toes just slightly forward, kick your left leg out to the side. Bring your weight up overhead. Inhale, reach, exhale, oblique crunch. Inhale, lengthen your weight over your ear. Exhale, tap, elbow to thigh in the middle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Woo! Come on, come on. Nice, long side body. As you reach your weight up overhead, find a stretch through the left side. Then as you squeeze in the middle, fire through your left oblique to find a tap and a squeeze on the side. Keep a little bend through your standing leg. That's near the bar, the chair, and half move. I'm back, I'm back. Got a call from Kirk. I thought I had do not disturb, but it's okay. Sorry, Kirk. A little busy. Last three. Two. Last one. Bring your weight out to the side. Fondue. This is it. In your right leg. Inhale, plie. Center. 